Hi, my name is Shawana, S-H-A-W-O-N-N-A, last name Edmund, E-D-M-O-N-D. Good afternoon, Ms. Edmund. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Ms. Edmund, would you tell the jury who you are in relation to Donovan Thomas? Hi, um, Donovan, I'm Shawana Edmund. I'm Donovan Thomas' mother. How do you recognize that person? That's my son, Donovan Thomas. Is that a fair and accurate representation of your son, Donovan Thomas, in life? Yes. Your Honor, the State Tender States Exhibit 3, Yankee, as evidence. All right, any further objection to 3, Yankee, that otherwise hasn't been noted? All right. Um, I'll ad I'm going to admit 3, Yankee, over objection. Thank you. It may be published as you see fit. Thank you. Ms. Love, hold on one second. Madam, in the front row. Madam, with the, with the small child. Madam? No, 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 no. You can either do one or two things. You can stand in the vestibule and you can still listen, or you can go to 8H where you can still be able to see it, okay? Because I can't compete with uh, your little one. <laughs> All right, thank you. Go right ahead. Thank you, Judge. Would you tell the jury who it is that is depicted on State Exhibit 3, Yankee? Um, that's my son, Donovan Thomas, Jr. And did you call him Donovan Thomas, Jr.? Or did you have another name for him? Yeah, we called him Peanut. Where did that name come from? I'm just him growing up. He was just, the, he was smaller than he was, and as you know now. And we just... Thought when he was born, he was just a cute little peanut, and that name just grew with him. When was he born? Um, April the 4th, 1988. And when was the last time that you saw your child alive? The last time... I saw my baby was give me a minute, please. It was Friday night. Um he was I always came to the house and we um what date is that? Today, um Do you have an objection, sir? January the ninth. January the 9th, I'm sorry. I'm all over it. All over the objection, sir. Objections, I should say. January the 9th. What year? 2015. January the 9th, 2015. And how old was your son when you last saw him? He was 26 years old. Did he go to school in Atlanta? Yes, he attended Washington High School. Sir. Follow Background. Uh, but let's get to it, Miss. Let's get to it. It's not. It's marginally relevant. So let's move on. Yes, Sean. Was Donovan your only child? No, I have one other oldest son. Donovan was the baby. And did Donovan have children? Yes, Donovan have two kids. Um... I sustain the objection. Do you remember the last day that you talked to your son? And, Your Honor, I'm going to go right into something else after this. All right. Do you remember the last day that you talked to your son? Yes, I spoke with him uh, January the 10th, 2015, what? that morning. But it was afternoon. Do you remember around what time? Um, it was between, between maybe um, 2 and 4. I was at my flea market, and he called me. Now, backing up to the day before when you said that you last saw him, did your son drive at that time? Yes, he did. And what kind of vehicle did he drive? Um, he uh, drove a blue uh, 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe. And was he driving it the last time that you saw him? Yes. 
When you talk to your son between 2 and 4 on January the 10th, 2015, uh, without talking about anything he said in particular, are you able to tell the jury whether he was anxious or apprehensive about anything? No, he was just his normal basis. Uh, that was Mr. Steele and Mr. Sharp? Or, no, Mr. Harvey. I sustain the objection. Thank you, Judge. Would you describe your son's mood as he spoke with you on January 10th, 2015? He was the same happy-go-lucky self. Um, always call and check him as he always did. All right. Thank you. In January of 2015, would you tell the jury what kind of work your son was Involved in, um, upon him, me and him talking, and he was kind of going, moving toward the music industry. Okay. Um, basically, he was just talking about artists that he was just trying to bring into the music industry, just taking on the different. I stand with you. Did you observe your son working in the field that you're describing for the girl? I did. And did that involve working with music artists? Yes. Are you familiar with um, a person by the name of Rayshawn Bennett or Lucci? Yes, I am. How do you know Lucci, generally speaking? Um, just um, my son just bringing up, was talking to me about someone that he was. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I your stand Honor, the objection. We're not offering it, Your Honor. I'll change and I'll actually rephrase the question. That would be, I appreciate that'd it. Be wonderful. Okay, all right. You can rephrase. Did your son ever bring Lucci to your house? Yes. Right. Did you ever see your son interact with Lucci? Yes. Was Lucci one of the artists that your son worked with? Yes. I stand the objection as to form. You can rephrase. What was the relationship between your son and Lucci? Uh, just entertainment, um, music. Are you familiar with a person by the name of Javon Fly Henry as well? Yes. Did your son work with that person as well? Yes. And with respect to Lucci, what was your son's relationship with Mr. Henry? Uh, I think with the, well, with the label, I think it's a game. Is think it's a game the label that Mr. Henry owns? Yes. I stand objection. Who owns think it's a game? Mr. Henry. And if you would do me a favor and lean into the microphone so that I can hear your voice back here and the rest of the voice. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now, did you personally ever visit think it's a game records? No, I did not. Did you ever visit 675 Metropolitan Avenue? No, I did not. And when you spoke with your son last on January the 10th, 2015, without talking about anything he said, generally what was the uh, what were the topics that you all discussed? Exactly. Oh, for here, say, uh, I, su I sustain the objection, ma'am, and that's the right person. So. Who was Chris Markell Bennett? That was my cousin. And on January the 10th, 2015, was he alive? No. Did you speak with your son about him on January 10th, 2015? Yes. Basis. Relevance A and B, hearsay. Your Honor, the rel two. As to the hearsay, I didn't ask her anything anyone said. And as to the relevance, that subject and name will come up more than once later on. I'm going to sustain it. I'm, I'm going to overrule the objection, I should say. Go ahead. Thank you. Did you speak with your son about him on January 10th, 2015? Yes, we spoke. Okay. Do you remember when it was that Chris Markell Bennett died? Yes, I can't remember the exact month, but the year was 2011. And do you remember how he died? It was homicide. 
When you saw your son's vehicle on January the 9th, 2015, did it have any? I'm going to overrule the objection. I think she's just orienting. That's the place, sir. Did it have any bullet holes in it that you saw? No, ma'am. And when did you learn, better yet, let me ask you this, what happened to your son? Did he die, die of natural causes? No, my son's death was a homicide. Did he die on January 10th, 2015? Yes, he did. Were you at 330 McDaniel Street on January 10th, 2015? No, I, no, I was home. How did you find out your son had been harmed? I received a phone call. And how did your son die? I stand the objection. Was he shot, stabbed, or something else? I stand the objection. No, she said homicide. She didn't say how. Well, it invites speculation unless she knows. Do you know how your son died? Yes, he was shot. He was, and it, um, it turned to a homicide once. Did you lay your son to rest? Yes, son? yes, we did. When did you bury your son? Um. It was to, uh, it was uh, January seventeenth, two thousand fifteen. And did you lay a gravestone over his gravesite? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Did you visit your son's grave after twenty fifteen? Often, yes. Were there any particular occasions that you visited your son's grave site? Oh, sir. Yes. We, I visited him on um, birthdays, Father Day, um, and just days in general that I felt I wanted to just go there. Did your son's grave site remain as it did when it was first placed? in the years following his murder? Um, was there ever a time where it was vandalized? Yes, it was vandalized. Do you remember when that was, generally speaking, the year? That was 2019. <laughs> and what occasion took you to your son? Did you go to your son's gravesite on that day? It was Father's Day 2019. Did you visit your son's grave site on Father's Day 2019? Yes, I did. And when you visited your great son's grave site, what did you find? Mm. <coughs> Sir. Are you ready to renew your objection? Okay. Yes. All right. It's noted. <coughs> You may go ahead and tell what you found. Um, January 19th, um, I, it was Father's Day. I drove up to my son's grave site, and once me and um, we drove up there, we um, noticed that the grave site had been vandalized. And when I got out the car, um, I wasn't familiar with the word, but some of his other friends were in the word. It was something was spray painted, uh, slapped on his grave, and it was chiseled around the size of the headstone. For the record, Ms. Edmund, would you please spell out what is written across your son's tombstone? Um, it's, um, you spell it out. Spell it out. Um, S-L-A-T-T. -T. And 
is Stacy did it for making a fair and accurate depiction of the gravestone as you found it on Father's Day 2019. Yes, it is. Would you tell the jury for the record what color the letters S-L-A-T-T -T are written across your son's gravesite? Uh, it's green. Before you saw that, did those letters have any significance to you personally? No, it did not. Did you ever see your son wearing those letters on any article of clothing that he wore? No, ma'am, I did not. Did you ever see your son prominently displaying green attire at any particular time? No, I did not. And do you know who it was that put S-L-A-G-T across your child's brain cell? No, I did not. No, I do not.